My wife and I were uh, in debt about fifty plus thousand dollars with the IRS, and I had another fifty thousand dollar business loan, and uh, it looked pretty hopeless. And so um, we were in a either a Sunday school or a small group setting um, with Warren, and she gave her testimony, and she had said she was in debt about fifty thousand plus with the IRS, and of course. That got my attention because exactly where we were. And I really had to sit down and look at that and I was challenged by that, that the IRS had every right to say, stop doing what does not work. But I realized that it didn't work because I was not working it. I was not disciplined and I was not doing the things I needed to do. And I made a decision at that point that not only will I continue to tithe, I will be faithful in terms of paying my debts and I'll be faithful in terms of making sure that I'm disciplined enough to handle my finances. So when she gave her testimony and she told what God had done for her, it, you know, I, I realized God's no respecter of person, so if he would do it for her, he would do it for me. Finally, my wife came to me and said, okay, let's take that step of faith and start tithing again. And um, so we did. It was paid off, we paid it off. We did it, God did it. A little over a year ago, I broke my neck in a biking accident. You know, the doctor said I, I should have been dead, but um, and they didn't, weren't sure whether I'd walk again, if I could sing again, or play piano, keyboards, any of that. And during that whole time, of course, we didn't have medical insurance. And of course, um, when the stack and stack and stack of bills start coming in, um, because of what God had already done for us earlier, I knew everything would be okay. And we just continued to put that in His hands. And less than a year later, it was paid for, all of it. All the medical debt is gone. When you obey God's work, there's a blessing that comes just from you doing that. You don't have to understand it. You don't have to know exactly how it's going to work together. You just have to do your part. When we do our part and we allow God to do His part, we would have absolutely no issues. That 90% is blessed because of the 10% that you gave up front. <laughs>